Yeah, Bayan, some people protest with their voices, others with their art. So as you can see here, right in front of Sumner Station, there are hearts here. There are some signs that even say BACO and SOS. So a lot of people came over today to talk about how much Sumner Station means to them. And we talked to a few community members and they coded these fences in front of us with messages. Sarah Swenson Cooper is one of those people. She's the organizer of this initiative today. And she said that people from around the neighborhood of Old Town Kern have contributed to the art and have signed the petition to keep it from demolition. This space is now public domain. If you want it, people want to come add, add anything they have around their house, as long as it's not something that's going to end up trash. Um, but I would love it if people came out and brought flowers. If you want to save the station, this is now your protest. So far, the petition has garnered 600 out of 1,000 signatures. Just days ago, we spoke to the Bakersfield City Council member, Andre Gonzalez, who has been in talks with the current owners of Sumner Station, Union Pacific, to hold off on demolition until he can bring forth the issue to City Council on May 5th. So coming up at 11 p.m. tonight, we will actually speak with more community members who came out here and put up these flowers and yarn to talk about how they feel about this station possibly going away by on. And, and Kristen, what is Gonzalez hoping to propose at this meeting? Well, you know, perfect timing there. A train apparently came in to tell us also about why they don't want the station to go away. But Andre told us that what he wants to do is actually get the city to take ownership of the station and possibly bring in a private developer who can actually convert this into something for the community, such as a food Timing. All right, nope. we'll, we'll follow back up. With you. I know, amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Bayan. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. The efforts of access.